everyone welcome back to my channel blossoming plans here on YouTube and on Instagram as well I really appreciate you stopping on by today we're gonna flip through what my planners look like for the month of July going on to the end of the year uh, for now <laughs> anything can change right but this is what I've done for the next six months and hopefully um, you like it too and it gives you some in some ideas for your own let's get into this So one of the first changes I made was the glitter plastic expander discs. Oh my goodness, I just absolutely love them. I used to have an alteration, alteration? No. What's the word? Well, a pattern, <laughs> a pattern of discs. So it would be the dark purple, the light purple, and the rose gold. Dark purple, light purple, rose gold. If you look at some of my past pictures on Instagram, you'll see um, that I had that previously. But then the expander disc came out in glitter, and I was like super duper happy. So I got these um, as soon as they launched. And yes, there were um, very few that ended up getting taken, I guess. I'm not sure, but they were sold out. Um, almost within like an hour, two hours of being launched. Maybe that was just the sticker books, if you guys remember that. That is a watch tan, oof, oof. Um, my Fitbit's charging right now. Um, so that's what happened when it came to these, but I'm really lucky that I got them. So this is the cover of the 18th month. This was from 28, nope, 2019 to 2020. This was an 18th month planner dashboard layout, and I really do love this cover so I decided to keep it um, even though I've changed my planners around a lot let's open her up so as you can see I have a pocket folder for any spare papeles and I have these cute little sticky notes these both came in the glam girl accessory pack glam girl of 2020 and 2020 yes glam girl of 2020 and I really like how it says hello gorgeous and I'm like hi how are you <laughs> really really good um, hello for me there this is a tab from a notebook from the wellness section um, or the wellness line and I really liked this tab specifically your greatest wealth is your health and I find that so very true because I mean that at the end of the day no matter what items you have, you have yourself, your body, and your mind. So my greatest thing is going to be my health, and that's something I've been going on a journey about. So behind this tab, I actually have these weekly check-in um, notes. This is how I keep track of just my weekly mood check-ins and little habit tracking. Typically, I would put um, like my water intake and just a reflection of the week, and then in the back, I just journal um, behind it. So with the next one this is the guided journal this was a really fun one um this was the guided journal that it was adulting is hard or adulting is not as fun but what i really loved about this tab is that i actually do this at work so much um, i don't mean to interrupt people i just randomly randomly remember things and get really excited and i do because sometimes i just can't wait to spit it out and tell you guys like my favorite color is purple or it's actually magenta, but it's like a mix of purple and magenta. Until they come out with more magenta products, Happy Planner, I'll be sticking to your purple because I am digging it so far. Okay, so what I really like is that these are the guided journal prompts and I like to jot down doodles. I just kind of have a tendency to write kind of my, my feelings of the day. The next tab is a section from the guided journal from the wrong wrong fitness guided journal and I think this is one of my favorites because strong women lift each other up because y'all lift in when you're working out and y'all lifting each other up in spirits right as much as we can do Boop. and this guided journal I like because it, it has more of a focus mo motivating look on it I can again it has a nice blank page where you can just brain dump. I remember everything had brain dump back in the day. Dump, dump, dump. 
dump ba dump dump truck. Um, <laughs> here we have the meal prep ideas. I think this is one of my favorite parts of it is because you can kind of brainstorm your workouts, your how you're going to be healthy this week. You can reflect on what are some ways that you want to improve from last week or ex continue from last week or move forward to try something new. So I think that is a great way if you want to look at a full flip through, let me know. But um, just a little things focusing on the healthy choices you're making today and a reflection. And this next tab is from the Radiate Positivity. If you're familiar with one of the first guided, one of the first pairs of guided journals that came out was Radiate Positivity. And this is just talking about pure joy, happiness, and how you want to show the love of this week, how you encourage yourself this week and love yourself. And that's how I'm taking it. I'm not sure how others take it, but how I take it is I'm radiating my own positivity with others, but also reflecting back and looking at how I was positive towards myself. Sometimes we are our own worst critics and sometimes we just need to give each other some love, okay? Next, ooh. I could also flip through this too. I really like the different prompts, but I have about a week and a half of prompts. I don't want to fill it up too much. And I have a divider. I really, really love this one. This is my absolute favorite divider because of this beautiful purple magenta-y foil that they have. I mean, the more things that they make with this, the more I'm going to get them for jerseys. Ooh, I love it. So here is my note-taking page. I have different stencils if I want to do some bullet journaling or drawing or using the lines to mark my planner. I have a habit tracker. I usually use this during my, um, my catch-all weekly. And then just little sheets of paper that I could just doodle on this week papers and, um, and regular dot grid. I, I will say I like dot grid more than I like lined paper um, just because again I if you've ever seen me write and you'll notice in my plan with me is I like turn my planner this way because I just I just have to write it's really interesting like I just have to write with that and so with lines if I don't have them I can just I just write across the page yeah I'm special <laughs> I like certain things, but that's why I like dot grid because it's um freewheeling freewheeling and dealing So next I have an another tab of separation. This is from the Wild style Pack dashboards. This is the one that comes with the the cheetah print one and the or the cheetah or the leopard print one with the Coco Chanel quote and I believe I used another one of it from the pack but this one comes from the wrong wrong dashboards this one's super cute I think it matches really well with the wrong wrong dashboard layout planner that also had this kind of foil on it and I was so tempted so tempted to get it Ooh, so pretty so pretty okay so at this tab is signifying my stargazer um, I like to put a overall goals for my stargazer because it is a monthly I can keep track of my daily goals but also just an overall what am I doing today to accomplish the bigger picture and I like to go to this for those reminders that um, of what I need to do and I do plan on having a plan with me on how I do one of these layouts so you're more than welcome to join me when that happens as well um, so the next tab, and it's actually separated by an envelope. This is an envelope I believe came in the Happy Planner, of course, Happy Planner um, Companion, Budget Companion Pack, the folder. This, I believe this came in here, I want to say, and this is the Undated Budget Planner. So I dated it to July and I have the um, this portion just separated just to take you know my expenses and everything and I also have a dry erase board in here I have a tendency just to notate what I'm spending 
and then put it on paper because I like to do dailies and then I could lay them out in order here. I know, I'm weird, but that's how I do. And that's how I do and I'm here to show you how I do. So next, we're gonna go in, so with these tabbies, I don't have any separation because the Julys don't line up so I could just pick on this July. So this is finally going into my dashboard catch-all. This is my catch-all and I haven't laid out this portion. Sometimes I do a lot of this, sometimes I don't. Sometimes this is used as scratch paper if I need to notate anything down. Um, but this is my dashboard layout. So you see, this is how it looks inside. I've done a couple plan with me's um, and you could also see them on my channel. So I have two months of the dashboard because it's my catch all. So I know I'm gonna end up having like different um, things if I need to plan ahead. And now we go into my glam girl. It is not, this is not a transformer. This is just like a Franken plan. Um, the biggest difference is that a transformer, and you could see in my previous videos, my very first video actually showed you how I have a transformer where you can flip it out and it's, it looks like a whole different planner with the cover front and the back. But mine, I just really love this cover so I'm just keeping it in here and it's separating to my glam girl. So my glam girl is the lined vertical layout and then if I continue to my next page and next we have planner babe and it goes into can you guess the planner babe planner and if you notice I'm having a little hard time turning it a little bit but I think it's because they're expander discs and they're getting like they're big they're pretty big so going into my planner babe i could use it very functionally and just write things and highlight things in here its main focus is keeping track on small projects that i want to do like crafts or um any little things this is kind of like a like a note-taking portion of my planner i really i really like having that i know it sounds weird again another tabby tab to mark the current week and this is actually a part of the planner babe um release this was a part of the dashboard so that came with three i believe and this is the spread i do with lupita on our live she has it posted on her instagram if you want to go check that out she's at ooh girl i need to remember it is lptg creates and i'm gonna put a little thingy right here i'll put a little thingy right here ready and there you go She's a good gal. She's a good gal friend. She's really fun. And next, last but not least, we're going to go into the Undated Fitness Planner. On a good day's workout. On bad days, work out harder. Sure. Sure. I can totally do that. <laughs> but this is um, my Undated. I like to keep the little dates here because I can change them up. I only do one month. And then one final tabby tab. We have just a little 30-day challenges and any additional 30-day reflection papers. This was from Healthy Hero back in 2019. 2019, if you guys remember Healthy Hero, that's where this folder came from. It was listed in the back, and I really liked it. So I'm going to do what Tosh does and she like laminates everything. Tosh, if you don't know her, her name is Natasha at La Casa de Natasha. She's one of my very close planner planner BSDs. She's super awesome. And I'm gonna do what she's gonna do and we're gonna laminate it because I was looking at it and I'm like, I would love to use this. But I don't but I don't but what if I wanna use it again? Ma? Ma? Okay, and then time to reflect pages if you want to put pictures and everything. So that's my planner lineup. Essentially, she a chunky girl. She a chunky girl. She chunky like her mama. She chunky like her mama. <laughs> and essentially, that's what my planner layout looks like from July on to the end of the year. For now, of course, because anything can change. But I really appreciate you coming on by to my channel and taking a chance to just flip through with me and look at what my month looks like. My month my year looks like essentially what my year is going to look like with my planners and I hope that you have a wonderful day and don't forget to blossom your plans. Bye!
but I really appreciate you stepping, stepping? Nope. 